hear it? Remember. Yeah. Feel it. <sighs> All right. You're on Kobo. The Mogul Wampa thing is coming. You're not scared. Show me focus. Has he actually lost some weight? Like, I remember him in, He's the, heavier. in the movies. He was heavier. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Where was that? You know what? Never mind. It doesn't matter because those movies are shit anyways. Good. Not playing baseball. Right. You will take me to this. Okay, this uh, that just seems stupid. I mean, why would he even be doing that anyways? He's already this is his second game doing this stuff. So why would he be readying it like a baseball bat? Uh, who directed it? Huh? Who? Hold on, my computer went off. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Static, that's what we all wish. <laughs> but yeah. Hamill has Hamill has sucked the teat. He's bent the knee. Are you back with us, Hitman? Yeah, yeah I'm okay. back. Okay. I mean, yeah, Wookie, basically, he's deserved to be jaked at this point. I mean, I was with him at first when he was first speaking out about his character's treatment and stuff like that. I was really like, hey, at least were. somebody's speaking. Yeah, we're, we're all kind of backing him. And then, you know, he turns up for for uh, Mandalorian multiple times. He's kind of gone quiet. And then, he, of course, he got the TDS hardcore and started pissing off half the country. God damn, dude. He's he's now earned the the titty sucking. Well, here's the and then but here's the tired old argument. Like, why well, he didn't really show up on set? It was CGI. It was de aging, or not even de aging. That people say no. So, uh, I heard people say that it was the same technology that they used for Tarkin and uh, Carrie Fisher. Have a good one, Joker. I take it you are hang. Are you still at the FNT thing? But otherwise, have have fun and uh, try not to lose all. Don't try not to lose your pants out there, dude. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Let's continue this. Senator, now take me to the senator. No now. less wrist. <laughs> Mark. Well, I know you live in Vegas. That's why I was asking if you were still at the meetup or something, too. I didn't know if that was part of it. Yeah, <laughs> I I know where he is. This is I wasn't sure if he was still a part of that. That's all. What was that? It's painful to watch. It really is, isn't it? You know I don't actually have the force, right? BD1 says no excuses. Oh, oh that you get two lightsabers? Well, technically one, but I can split them. <sighs> you never gave me two lightsabers. I mean, this is almost kind of playing on some of his annoyances I with his character. Did. You just got your hand walloped off and had to make a new one. Well, and it's like he didn't need a second lightsaber. <sighs> No, Luke didn't need a second lightsaber. We told Walt well, Luke of the EU or uh, in general, <laughs> or Jake Skywalker. Well, I mean, Jake needed damn near anything just to keep himself alive. Yeah, Mark. <laughs> Duck. Okay, now use your force powers to pull that sphere. I really don't need you to explain the force to me. Oh, yeah. that was cringy as shit. The most cringy. Which just kind of affirms like what we were saying that like he's still within very much the circle of Disney. Oh, without yeah. Like maybe not. Maybe you can make the argument like, well, he no, like, no, 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 no. No, I stand by what I say. Because, again, if you were so irritated and hurt with, not even, I guess, hurt, but if you if you didn't believe what Disney was doing 
you know, in regards to, you know, just deconstruction treatment of your character, character, you know, and, treatment of your character like, yeah. and whatnot, you would not come back to do anything with them. You'd be, you'd be doing the opposite. You'd be going against the grain. Absolutely. But, and, and it's kind of the same thing. Well, it's not the same thing, but that's why I get so <sighs> irritated with the whole Gina Carano thing, because like if, and I got, I, I don't even know. I got to, I say, I got to find that tweet. Can't find that tweet. But what, uh, J, uh, drunk 3PO said about that Gina would come back mm. and reprise, reprise a role if, if Disney they asked her, her. Yeah. if they asked her like that's like a company fires you because you're a Christian but then they come back and say but then you come back and say Later that like yeah I would I would actually go back and work for them if they if they asked me yeah not if even they though apologize they... to me not if they like just they, if they asked me I'd come back right or or like I'm a conservative a Republican and my company fired me because, because of, of it but I would go back and work for them like you absolutely not. and I we can't talk about this because every time I talk about it, like I just get irritated because it's so asinine and ludicrous and nonsense. <laughs> To sit there and say I would go work for a company that fired me because oh no I agree with you know X Y and Z so with Hamill Jake Skywalker like yeah to your point he came out and I backed him dude and this this is part of the reason why I get so irritated too because I backed him I was like you know I I sat here on on this show all those episodes I ago and I said if there was anybody that could be a mouthpiece to everything that we kind of feel and actually be heard from a platform level, it's it's Hamill, right? Because Harrison didn't want anything to do with Star Wars. Unfortunately, Carrie Fisher, you know, no, no longer here. Billy right. Williams is bunked off doing pff, who knows what with who knows who. You know, he's not <laughs> so, and again, I don't know if Billy D. Williams wanted to stay with Star Wars. If he wanted, you know, I don't know. Carrie died, you know, all Harrison, you know, was so, you know, wrapped up with indiana jones and anything that had nothing to do with star wars they, we were left with hamill and i'm not saying i'm not going to sit here and say hamill was the closest with lucas like i know they all had relationships yeah but i think luke i say luke i'm sorry but i think mark had probably one of the most strongest out of the three out of the, at least two because again we know harrison didn't want anything to do, not that harrison didn't want anything to do with lucas he just didn't want anything to do with his franchise yeah he was not he was not super big on it. No, which is which is so crazy because, like, in my opinion, he's one of my favorite. Right. So, anyways, it, this is just proof and affirmation that, like, he he did like he's he's bent the knee. You can sit there and you can argue. Oh, yeah. against it. No, no, I'm I'm full. Not on. You. I'm, no, no, no. I'm just saying. Oh no, yeah, yeah. And, and counter argue, like, bring a counter argument to it. Like to do this, like, well, it's just a commercial. Jay Hammond, why are you so up in arms? Like, yeah, it's a commercial for a game that Disney is producing or Disney Lucasfilm Lucas arts, whatever is, is creating. And they gave it to him and destroyed his character. So any normal person, in my opinion, would be the first would, would be the furthest away from, you know, that company that deconstructed your character.